Uh, today we got another walkthrough for you. I am going to play Charlie Murder. This is one of my uh, more favorite games of the arcade that came out this summer. Or last summer, I should say. Um, if you're familiar with a game called Castle Crashers, you'd be very familiar with this game. Same kind of thing. Uh, same idea going on, as you're going to see. Um, I'm just going to play a local match by myself. Um, I wanted to play uh, online, me and Adam were going to do it, but for some reason uh, this game does not like our internet connection. It, it, it lags, it doesn't connect great, it freezes and it's just, it's almost, it's pretty much unplayable. And I'm not sure if it's just um, our connection that's doing that, because we never had issues with other games, and or I'm not sure if it's just the game itself, you know. Um, I, I, I went online and I, I think some people have been having the same issues, so. I'm not too sure. I play online and it seems to be fine, but for some reason, whenever I play that, it's just no good. So, anyways, we're gonna get into this game, and this is just the the first little intro. This shows you how to play. Um, you'll see that uh, that was just a dream, is that I was dying and I was close to going to hell, uh, I guess. But you know, we got saved by the last second, and um, the guys who beat the shit out of me are those guys right there, which are the rivals, as you'll. You'll learn more about them later on and, you know, who they are and how everything plays. But basically, to start things off, you're, you start off, you're dead, you, you, you know, you come back alive. Uh, you know, there's zombies, the whole world is, like, going to shits, like, everybody's dying, there's, like, demons and crap like that. And you'll, you'll find out later on, as we progress through the game, why everything's like that. But for right now, that's pretty much what's going on. And I am playing as Charlie, who is obviously the main character in the game. He's also very good, too. Uh, the, the characters, they're all sort of similar. They each have different special abilities and um, skills, I guess. But they're pretty much the same. They're pretty close. Uh, so if you press uh, right trigger, I'm playing on Xbox, by the way. Um, you see I have one little blue, one little blue circle there. Um, that is my uh, special ability. Um, you get to put four. You get a bunch, but you can only equip four at once because you know you have four different slots. And um, in the beginning, you can start with one, and you get more later on. You can only have four equipped at a time. And I think the first one for Charlie is, is just like a berserker attack or something. Um, basically, you have your. Oops. You can pick stuff up. Obviously, as you can see, you know, throw it at people. Uh, you have two attacks. You have your X and your Y, which is your you know your quick attack, strong attack. You pick guys up as you've seen before. Um, every time you kill guys, you get uh, Twitter followers, which are like experience. It's a pretty neat way. Uh, see here, you got your phone. This is your like your your level when that when you get more followers, you level up. So it's it's pretty interesting. I thought that was unique. Um, your phone is basically like your menu. So this is my every time you level or every second level, you get, I think it I think it's every second level you get access to a skill point, which is like you know dual wielding, you know counter. Increased backpack size, you know, very basic things. And then you get like your little, your skills you can level up, like your percentage, like uh, go with strength, defense, uh, and speed. So your strength is your power, your speed is how fast you move and attack and all that. Defense is how much damage you can take. And your anarchy <laughs> is your magic. So, or your mana, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> you get all kinds of items, you also get, um, Unlike Castle Crashers, you get uh, equipment. Like, you can get weapons, you can get armor, you can get, like... Well, they're the clothes, I guess, but... It's pretty cool, like, the, the theme and the take of this game is, is pretty neat. I really liked it, so... Anyways, you'll see, like, you, you can... The zombies have, like, their arms and legs and... Shit fly off. There's, there's all kinds of weapons you can throw, you can... It's pretty entertaining. It's a, it's a very fresh experience here, like, this game. But anyways, let's get to the starting part here. Killing some zombies. Oh, they also get guns too. The zombies aren't really tar, they're they're pretty easy to kill. Guns and all that. And you'll see like when your when your move refreshes it pops up and it lets you know. So it's, the special attacks are pretty good. Um and your anarchy, which is your magic, also determines your power, your regenerate, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Oh no, we're not done. Not done yet. There we go. Now we're in. Alright, and this is the first mini boss called Boss Monster. 
Uh, this is the first guy we play. He's not too hard, it's pretty easy. This game does get really tricky later on though. Uh, oh god, you will notice that. It's definitely, it's a lot easier in multiplayer. That's why I wanted to do a walkthrough in multiplayer, but... Uh, connection issues. Uh, the game's been out since the summertime and they haven't fixed it yet, so... I don't know, it better be get fixed. It's the only complaint I have about this game is... For a game that's very fun to play online, it's almost unplayable online because of that fact. But, uh, nonetheless, it's still a good game. I think it was 800 or 1200 points when I picked it up. Might have been 1200. I'm not sure what it's at right now. So this is equipment. You press select to go to equipment. You see all your equipment has your stats and all that. And, it, you know, the green is, uh, if you were to wear it, that's your, what, the change. So, like, if it's a green, it means, like, if I was to put on this helmet, I'd get plus 11 more anti-anarchy. Uh, Sorry, I always say that wrong. Um, plus two defense and cooldown crit percentage and all that stuff. So, thread on. As you can see, it's it's pretty cool. It's a pretty neat game. Green wristband. There. And you, you can really customize your character look and all that. Oh god, cars falling everywhere. So we got to pick up the bombs here bombs and basically blow our way through here blow up our way through here this is a theater for future reference you're gonna wanna need to go there when I first played I passed the theater it, you'll see later on you get a ticket and you can go in it and it'll unlock some pretty cool stuff in the game but uh, when I first played this I, I walked past I played through the whole game without knowing where the theater was Oh god, what the? Get off me. Wee! Char Charlie is definitely, I, in my opinion, one of the better characters. He just... His attacks are more fluent, they're more... Yeah, faster, he's... he's. It's just like his movement, his overall attacks are really... They work really good. You hear the ninjas, the ninjas are a royal pain in the ass in this game. Very hard to kill once they get stronger. Right now, obviously, it's really easy, but... Oh, they, they like to lob stuff at you, and... It's a little annoying. So, I just ranked up. Or, AK leveled, whatever you want to call it. These guys aren't too bad. Oh, and there's a... Bar. Okay, whenever you see a... Wait, let me get the shirt first. Like, Okay. Whenever you see, like, a, uh, like the serial codes, like the... I think it's, like, the Blackberry uh, phone bars. Go to your phone, the picture, you press down D-pad, and you can take a picture of it. Whenever you take a picture of it, you get an item. So, I can't wear that yet, because it's black. You see, like, the requirements. I need more strength. Which I can actually probably get. Was it 13? There. There. So this is a store too. Um, by the way, I don't have gloves. See, got some gloves. So you can also take pictures of like uh, certain objects in the game. Uh, there's actually an item you get, like a uh, like a relic. They're called. They give you bonuses, and one of the relics, it makes objects that you can take pictures of to get free items, highlight. So usually it's something that's just out of place, or it's kind of weird. Uh, like you'll see like a little toy randomly somewhere or something like that. Uh, but it, they're hard to pick up when you're trying to play the game and all that. So you can also sell stuff. Money isn't too hard to get in this game. Sell so much stuff. Pretty easy. Uh, oh yeah, right. Your right is your message, you get text. Um, there, you, basically when you unlock a movie, you get text whenever you do uh, different things. You will get text from other people too, which we'll wait till I get one later on. Uh, you'll see how that ties into it. It kind of tells helps tell the story too. See, I got a text right. Oh no, tell me about my camera. Okay. So yeah. Uh, 
see the board's telling me to take a picture. Take a picture, get free ink. Your ink is your tattoos. Your tattoos give you moves. So you see it's all tied into like a rock star kind of, you know, musical kind of game. This thing right here, I believe you take a picture of? Yeah. So I got a bottle cap. Plus 5% cash get. Okay, let's see. It's pretty cool. I think I need the bombs, actually. Right? Yeah, I need a bomb. Yeah, I got one. So, it, it's it's pretty cool. And I think we are actually out of time. Okay, this is a brewery. Actually, I'll show you the brewery. Uh, the brewery is pretty easy. Uh, use it to put ingredients together to make beer, basically. And the beer is kind of like potions. Uh, it gives you more health, more crit, more speed. Uh, you know, uh, increased damage resistance, that kind of that kind of idea. I'm gonna take a picture of this. And I got some glasses, which I can't wear. Yeah, free tattoo. So, at least the poison's full cool. Some of the some, like there's different classes. I think there's Mesmer, there's a tank, there's a mage, and then there's the Berserker, which is Charlie. Some of the classes are pretty interesting because you get moves that normally wouldn't suit some of the places. I was like, you see, Charlie, I have a defensive move, but you think a Berserker doesn't really have defensive. Um, so like some of the moves are kind of tied together. Like the mage gets more offensive moves, but you also get some other things too, which you normally wouldn't get. So they, they kind of mix that up, and you'll find later on, you, as you unlock more classes, they mix them even more. So, you'll, you'll see later on what I mean by that. Um, hint, hint. Castle. I mean, not castle. Uh, movie theater. The movie theater is what you go to, to get those. Or you beat the game. I think we beat the game in unlock classes, too. This little potato dude, um, you manage to kill him. He runs on screen. You manage to kill him before he runs away. You get uh, used to drops for a loot. So I'll grab that green shirt. Steal that before it goes away. And yeah, see, it's usually really good. It's better than what I have. I, I personally don't care what I look like. I just throw whatever, you know, whatever looks good. My kind of thing. Uh, that's how I've always been with uh, most RPGs. Ow. You are invulnerable, vulnerable while you use your special ability. Very, very briefly. Shoot your ninja stars at me. There. Jacket. Mm, two jackets. Pretty much exactly the same. So deal waiting perk is the one I really like uh, with the Berserker. It allows you to basically attack. I think it's half speed. Uh, and you can block too, so like you attack in half the speed. It's good for uh, trapping guys like I was kinda did there. Um you also, your weapons also take damage, so I know some people, I'm kind of on the fence about that in games, but in this game, I think that if your weapons didn't uh, wear out and get damaged, it, it just would be too easy to play. So, I guess, that makes sense in this game, but in some games, it's, it's really annoying, like when you use a weapon like once or twice and it gets destroyed. I was never really a big fan of that. <clears throat> Depends on the game. Aim this thing better. This is knife? Yeah. Heat. Brain. This game's a little tricky. This game's, like I said, it. some of the boss fights are a little bit harder on, uh, you play by yourself, just because you're the only target, and... I mean, multiplayer is, they do up up the enemies and the quantity and all that to, like, make up for it, but there you go, okay. That wasn't too bad. I got him. But I have noticed that the game is much easier in multiplayer. It's it's still hard, though, at times. Difficulty's pretty good. Like, the enemies are fairly smart. You know, they're not stupid. They don't just, you know, they don't get hung up as much. Ooh, that's a good mask. Did I level? No, I didn't. Uh, I should get a text somewhere. Okay, so this is kind of going to go into the storyline of the game, so. 
I'll let you watch this. Oh yeah, this is also like a little, every now and then you'll have like a little game mode where you gotta do something that's different than, you know, fighting guys, and this is one. Since since it's kind of a, a musical game based on a band and all that, there's also like little Guitar Hero parts where you, you know, you gotta line up the music. I'm not really good at this, but... And Charlie, I, th I think Charlie's the hardest one. That or the drummer, maybe. Not 100% sure. Oh, there and now we're rocking. Also, the soundtrack in this game is really nice. I like the music. It's pretty good. I'm not sure who, who recorded or anything like that, but it, it's pretty good. I like it. I like the Charlie Murder songs too. They're really funny. And the radio is pretty good too. So far so good, 100%. Oh yeah. Usually I fuck up like a bazillion times. Oh, there we go. There it is, right near the end. I think there's an achievement if you get them all, if you get them all uh, 100 percent. Easiest to do that with is the mesmer because the mesmer li literally has like 10 notes in the song. The girl who's playing the little, whatever the heck that thing's called. <laughs> so if you want to get that achievement, just pick her and do one. It's very easy. And that's it. So that's nice. Nice little change of pace. And this guy you'll see is, you might look a little familiar. Um, he's actually the guy at the beginning. He's, um, I wouldn't say the devil, but he's like the, the evil guy who kills you. <laughs> I'm going to go into the backstory of the game just in case if nobody caught it. You're basically two guys who want to start, start a band. And you're Charlie and the other guy is, I can't remember the other guy's name, but it's that guy right there and you basically go off and start your own band and kind of, I don't want to say screw him over, but you just you know, you kind of take off without him and he gets mad so he turns evil and makes his rival band and then you guys are kind of like doing battles of the band kind of thing and you're trying to fight each other and all that so that's kind of to give a backstory with that and he sends you emails which he just sent me, or texts uh, I'll check it here yeah, bitter man, bitter man. Charlie, he thought you'd go ahead and physically assault my guitar player. There are witnesses. You're gonna pay for this, Lord Mortimer. So Mortimer is the evil guy. Um, his guitarist was the guy with the Viking horns. That's the guitar player. You kind of go through the band members as boss fights, and then you fight them uh, multiple times, and you come back and, and you fight them at the end too, which is pretty interesting. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to spoil you into the game for you, but it's uh, it's worth the watch if you want to see what happens. It's a black cat. Wonder Pets. Wonder Pets is a store. Uh, Pain of Jim is PvP. This is a burger factory. But, for right now, I'm going to take a break, and we will come back with part two very shortly.